Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to what is episode 8, I think it is, of my Pokemon Go Generation 2 journey. Um, as you can see there, I have hatched an Onyx, which is something I need. Now I have uh, 50 candies for a Steelix. Uh, so to kick things off, uh, I have some egg hatches uh, rolling in the background, but also I just wanted to mention... So I've been playing since uh, day one, currently I am level 34, 35. Um, for me the game is definitely getting a bit stale. I've lit so as, as, as I've said I've been playing since day one and I've literally been playing every single day. Uh, whether that means five minutes a day or five hours, I've played every single day, haven't missed a single day at all. And it's just getting uh, pretty repetitive, you know, same old thing, day in, day out. Rare spawns are few and far between, you know, there's only so many times you can do uh, evolution uh, montages or evolution sprees if you like. Um, obviously as you're catching them all, obviously there's no new Pokedex entries. Um, I have banked uh, quite a lot of Stardust waiting for this uh, gym uh, raids uh, update if that's what you want to call it. But um, yeah, so I'm definitely going to be putting out, uh, still putting out Pokemon Go videos, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if you guys have any ideas of what I could do, uh, that would be great, because otherwise, uh, for me at least, it's getting, you know, pretty repetitive, same old thing, which is a shame, because I do love the game, I do enjoy playing it, but um, yeah, there's only so many times you can do the same thing. Alright, so we have a massive crocodile here at 1264 CP, uh, which is definitely the highest I've seen. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's near its max uh, CP actually, so um, yeah, definitely want to catch this. Let's see what happens. Alright guys, so there is a larvae tire just uh, near my house, uh, probably about a good kilometre or so away. Um, yeah, let's try and get this. Alright guys, you wouldn't believe it, uh, after never seeing a larvae tower at all uh, in, my, in my city, um, there's one exactly the same uh, Pokestop as the last one was, so I don't know what's happening here, but that is two within about an hour. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited, let's uh, pineapple berry this one and see what happens. I've just got my seven day streak coming up, uh, definitely looking for a metal coat or a dragon scale and nice, as you, as you see there I got a dragon scale so that is my first one, finally can get a uh, Kingdra. Okay so I'm currently in uh, in town in the CBD and as you can see there is a Togetic here, uh, sadly it's only 148 CP, pretty low but I do know these are pretty tricky to capture, although I'm sure this one won't be, um, yeah let's see what happens. Alright, so uh, today is the first day of the uh, double XP week, and as you can see, I'm currently on 692,000 XP into level th into level 34. Uh, definitely hoping to reach 35, I'm sure I'll do that. And also, as we see here, we have a uh, Murkrow, I know nothing special, but uh, providing I can catch this, this would be my 200th uh, Dark-type Pokemon, which is pretty much all Murkrows. So as we see here with the uh, list of favourites, basically everything here is uh, to be used uh, throw away in a gym, or to be evolved into a Gen 2 poke. Um, example, Porygon, Porygon 2, Seedra into Kingdra, Slowpoke into Slowking, etc, etc. Also about to do my 7 day streak, I uh, currently only have one Metal Coat, so definitely hoping to get another one so I can get Steelix and Scizor. 
Alright, so I'm getting the ball rolling here with the uh, Porygon into Porygon 2. So we've got Charge Beam and Zap Cannon. It'll be pretty useful for taking down Gyarados. I know with the uh, boosted HP over, I'm oh, sorry, stamina over uh, Jolteon. So now we have Gloom into Sunflora. Uh, not expecting much here really, just a uh, Pokedex entry. Next up we have Poliwhirl into Politoed. I'm um, hoping for Hydro Pump, but um, yeah, we'll see what we get. Bubble and Blizzard. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It's not too bad. Alright, so this is my first 5km egg hatching from the event. Uh, as you can see, we've got a uh, Chikorita. Definitely hoping for a Cyndaquil though. Hopefully I'll get one in the future. So here we have the current status of my eggs, and all these 10km eggs were gathered before the event started. Here we go guys, finally, this is the moment. I am hatching 17 kilometer eggs, and if I could get one Larvitar out of this, I'd be pretty happy. It should mean I can get a Tyranitar. So all in all guys, uh, to have only one uh, bad egg, so to speak, in the uh, lot of seven with the Panico, um, you know, I think that's a pretty good uh, strike rate. Also managed to uh, pick up another metal coat at a, at a stop, so that means I can get Sizzle now. And so with the uh, two kilometer egg hatching the uh, Easter event uh, mascot himself, Togepi. Alright, so now we have a bunch of uh, two, five, and I think there is one 10 kilometer egg hatching. Alright, and I'm more than happy with that uh, Chansey Hatch. It is my first one with uh, wonderful IV, so I can now finally go ahead and get a Blissey. Alright, so I know what you're thinking. Why, why am I showing a Magikarp catch even though, you know, it's just a regular Mag Magikarp, not shiny? Uh, but providing I can catch this, that will mean I am finally level 35. It's been a long grind. guys finally level 35 only five levels to go um, I know level 40 seems uh, so close but of course with the XP you need 20 mil uh, it's definitely ages away okay so now we have a uh, ear catching montage I think there's twos fives and possibly a ten I'm not completely sure but um, yeah just sit back and watch the hatchings <laughs>
right, so here's something you haven't seen for a while. Uh, Pokemon Stillowet, and it is a pillow swine. Uh, swine ups for me are pretty much super rare. Definitely don't see any of them at all, so hopefully we can capture this. Oh, mate, you wouldn't believe it. Ran on the very first ball. I'm pretty gutted about that. Okay, so we have a couple of 2Ks hatching. As we see, uh, Charmander first up, which is uh, pretty sweet. And nice, a new Pokedex entry, Shuckle. Uh, obviously, I, I've never seen one, obviously never caught one. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty sweet hatch. All right, so as it's the last night for the double XP, I'm going to go out for a walk. This is the uh, current status on the eggs. Uh, hoping to hatch both 10Ks tonight. Here we go guys, we've got the uh, first 10k hatching, let's see what it is. Alright, getting the uh, ball rolling with the Dratini. Uh, obviously hoping for a Chansey for more candies or a Larvitar, but um, you know, I can't complain about a Dratini. Just a uh, quick update on the eggs, here we go. And the new 2k hatching is a Shelter. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Here we go guys, got the uh, second 10k hatching, and another Dratini, damn. Alright, so now it's time to do some uh, more Gen 2 evolutions, I uh, thought I'd quickly do it before the uh, bonus XP uh, expires. So starting off here with the uh, Scyther into Scizor, and if you know me, you know that uh, Scyther is one of my favourite Pokemon, so this would be pretty sweet. And obviously the number in their name is their uh, IV level. Alright, so Bullet Punch Iron Head, uh, two double steel moves, so um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not unhappy with that, that's pretty sweet. So now we're evolving the uh, Queen herself, uh, Chansey into Blissey, uh, as we see with 88% IVs. Pound Dazzling Gleam, not bad. I was obviously hoping for uh, Zen Headbutt, but can't complain about the uh, Dazzling Gleam. So the uh, final evolution, we have Tyrogue into Hitmontop. Obviously, obviously to do this you need Tyrogue to have uh, HP as its best stat. So here's the XP I ended on after the uh, double XP week uh, finished. So obviously I started at uh, 692,000 I think it was into level 34. And so ending up on about 380,000 into level 35. Um, you know, so that is I think just under 1 mil total XP. So yeah, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. As usual guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one.